craziness is still going on. Following me around, yelling and stuff, yelling stuff outside my apartment. Um, these bastards, um, extremely horrifying. I think they're telling people not to talk to another investigator. These people are stupid. They don't realize they have the login. They're already bugged. The government knows. My brother-in-law was a private consultant for the FBI. Unrestricted, did war weapons, worked at the Pentagon. He told me back in the 80s, for a monitor is a monitor, the government can see you through the TV. How much more advanced are we now? So, these people are just working for that occult. Otherwise, they wouldn't be involved. They think that they can break in and drug you, tell you to say something stupid with an amnesia drug. You don't know about it because they give you an amnesia drug. And you didn't see the people because they gave you an amnesia drug. Uh, they think they can break in, stick you with a needle, open your head, and put a cell phone in it. They tried this in 2005 in a prison setting of all things. And all 33 agents went to jail for 20 years. Um, this is the United States of America. It's not Nazi Germany. Um, I do have a neural chip. It's right here. And it, I, the cut comes down through here and it pulls and there's swelling pulling into here. They're hoping if they stall, I die for that occult. You can see the wires going into the side of my brain. Some idiot went to say something stupid about me to Mercy Medical. They said, look, we all know some ass chapter. They took responsibility at Altman Hospital, 313 at 2.53 p.m. under the case's name and called the guy a damn bastard that did it. 12, 21, 18, stabbed in the neck of the refrigerator. Abducted. Woke up with hair missing, the rest of my hair straight up, and another man's come on the dresser, and Dave's accusing me of having an affair. I had no idea what happened. Walmart 62 cesspool. They showed up with the cell phones we implanted in a neural chip. I thought they were lying. They're not. It comes up on police scanners, government chip. Um, more than one police department has said something. Um, it's illegal to implant it. It's synthetic electronic warfare not to be used it on the citizens. And why would you use it on the victim and not on the people that hired the stalkers and murderers? Because Dave was dating an agent's daughter named Michelle. And it's a time bomb. They decided to take the kill money. And that one lady in the second apartment, <laughs> yeah, uh, she already talked to an investigator loud enough for the neighborhood to hear. They, uh, they did drug and tell her what to say. They may be telling her not to talk to anyone, but that's okay. Again, she's already talked to one. And when you say something around me because my house is, um, my house is bugged, my car is bugged, and I have a neural chip, and it goes into cell phones, and they sold the login of all things up to 50 miles around. They hear you. Because I can go out of town and go somewhere, and they'll say, did you know this? And I'm like, oh, my God. It's horrifying. Uh, having your life a public display. I have a right to privacy. Um... I would like to be put in the witness protection program. I would like to be moved. I need the neural chip removed. They're trying to stall, so I die for that occult. Michelle's not even involved. This is where it's ridiculous. They have just committed such heinous crimes. They just want it cleaned up this way instead of fixing it. My ex did say they murdered two people on the gunshot night, and they did let me know that the house did pick it up. Um, and they did break it the register. They stayed out of it for Dave's girlfriend. And back then it was Michelle. 
Um, he was playing another girl, too, in the team. That's why they participated trying to set their daughters up for life. There's a $200,000 house, three hundred and seventy-five dollars in life, small insurance on the house to pay it off, $18,000 in jewelry, and a retirement plan where over $600,000 in extortion. Um, so I'm going to be uploading this. Um, I'm hoping someone comes down. I'm ready to start passing out pamphlets with a picture of the neurochip offering to sell it to anyone. And as people, I went to DC in May, people pulled in the gas station. Somebody needs to do something about this. People were gasping from their vehicles, looking at me as my thoughts echo from their cars. And people yelled out, we heard what those corrupt agents did. We heard what those monsters did. All this was outlawed in 2005. 11th Circuit, U.S. Supreme Court, 18-1034. That's when the Justice for Victims of Torture and Terrorism Act came at play. I was tortured trying to get people help and warned to stay quiet because they brightly stayed out of a shooting. And people were saying, my ex said they killed some two people outside. And people said they actually did. I'd like the details of that night, the whole details. You did nothing wrong hiding for your life. It's not wrong to hide, but you don't realize everything that happened. I would like to. I would like to. I almost got shot driving. And these people are horrified. Horrifying. Horrifying. I told you where the little old lady lived. And people can't deny when you say something around me. Because everything's fucked. They should know better. I hope the government shows up and takes me to a hospital. I don't want to die for bastards.